What's going on everybody? Another episode of 4x4 Camping and Adventures and in today's episode I'm going to take you through something nice and simple, the Kickass portable shower awning and I went on the pre-order for this product from Kickass himself and I thought getting into camping more and uh, doing more with bush and mud and all that kind of stuff, uh, we all love having those luxuries of um, you know showers and all that kind of thing and I've got the portable shower, the, um, the instant water shower and all that kind of stuff already. So I thought, well, something like this can go on the side of the car and I'll pretty much have the perfect setup. So with uh, the magic of editing, and just like that, we have a uh, shower awning on the side of the car. So this took, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really be very honest here, 20 seconds to set up. So it's just obviously unzipping the main unit and then these two bars come out. So you unstrap the whole thing all rolled up and then these two bars come out and you're done. It's just like super simple. So the benefit of having this on this side of the ute, especially with my car, and you probably can't see it, but at the back, I've got a roller um, gas boulder holder, which is like a whole thing that goes with my whole roller roof rack, but it's a roller gas um, water gas bottle holder. So what I can do is I can run that gas bottle holder, or sorry, the gas bottle, I should say, to uh, my tripod. So I've got a um, instant hot water shower uh, that goes on the tripod. So I can run that to the side of the ute and then from the hot water shower in the back of the ute when I go camping I set up a uh, 25 litre water container which I use for my showering and water and all that kind of stuff. So what I'll do is I've already got the water pump hooked up in the back of the ute. The hose will go in there, the other hose will go into um, the hot water system and I'll have obviously a shower. Then I can run the actual um, shower head over this and have a full blown shower if I, uh, you know, get dirty, muddy, all that kind of stuff. Other side is you got a bit of privacy uh, when you're out in the um, bush. I mean, if you, if you want to have a shower in the bush, go for it. Um, but if you sort of go into sort of campsites that uh, other people might be hanging around in and you want a little bit of privacy, uh, or even if your missus wants a bit of privacy, that kind of stuff, uh, this is perfect for that. If you've got kids, family, perfect for that as well. Um, you can sort of have a little tarp laid on the ground so it catches all the water. Um, so obviously feet don't get dirty and yeah, you can have a full blown shower in the, um, in the bush. So that's what I love about this product. No, no plug to kick ass products. I bought this, it was on a pre-order. I pre-ordered this back in February. Uh, it, would, it was hugely delayed. No, 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 nothing wrong with the actual brand or the, um, or the product. Uh, I believe that it's couldn't get enough stock cause it was obviously a pretty popular item. And yeah, there was communication, communication with kick ass was absolutely fantastic. You get a tracking number, you get an order number. Then they send you an email saying this is when it's going to get um, sent, delayed, all that kind of stuff. It got delayed till um, I think it was June, but we got uh, they got stock uh, in May, so um, it came a little bit earlier. And, um, and and the communication the whole way was fantastic. Even when the extra delay was hitting June, because the original uh, launch was meant to be in April, uh, even when they said, "Hey, look, it's got to be pushed out to June," um, they said, "Look, you can have a refund on your product if you're not happy with that, or you can um, wait till June." And I was just happy to wait. But um, the, the communication from Kickass was absolutely fantastic. I'll be buying more stuff through them in the future. Um, they're almost like a full drive super center sort of layout. You got all pretty much everything you need to go camping on that particular website. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive, but I believe it's a bit of better quality. So um, actually, I'm gonna say much better quality. So um, the, uh, the products on there seem to be all based around a lot of 12 volt stuff. They've got inverters, um, stuff that sort of takes on, you know, like the big wigs. Uh, you've got uh, full-blown um, dual battery isolator kits and that kind of stuff. And as I said, I'm not affiliated with these guys. I bought this in my own cash. It was $269 on pre-order, I believe. I think they're selling now for about $450 area. Um, but as I said, the the brand and the and the communication and what I've seen on their website so far, I'm stoked. I'm absolutely stoked with what they've done. And um, I'm really happy with how the service was and that sort of thing. Because service to me, such a big part of buying full full drive products. If I didn't know Cut Snake were, you know, had a full blown warranty on their flares, and uh, if I if I smashed one of my flares, I could literally go to them and get it sorted out. I wouldn't have bought this particular flare. If I didn't know Iron Man had a um, a uh, ball bar, um, or I could go to any specialist and uh, any Iron Man specialist and get it fixed up, I wouldn't have got Iron Man. I buy things purely because. I like the idea of having a warranty and if the warranty is like one shop in Perth or in Sydney or Melbourne and I can't get things fixed, I won't go with that product just because I can't get that customer service and that's such a big thing 
um, especially working in the customer service industry. It's such a big thing when I'm buying products. So, um, so uh, props to uh, Kickass Products. They uh, did a fantastic job. So I'm going to take you through this particular product. I'll um, get the GoPro out and give you sort of a bit of a rundown around it. But um, Stoops pretty pretty stoked with how it's sort of all um, laid out. This is obviously canvas and it's you know it rips off canvas all that kind of stuff. It's got a little few pockets in here, but um, but I'll get through that when I um, do a bit of a walk around video with the product. All right, so let's get a little bit closer to this product and uh, take you through all the details. So you do get some pegs to um, strap this down. Unfortunately, where I am now, it's a little bit rocky, so I um, I can't get too close to the ground. I can't get too into the ground, which is um, a little bit annoying. But, uh, but that's okay, you do get some pegs. So the top of the unit is actually strapped up with this, this guy here. So this actually pulls the whole thing um, apart. So you can see across there, there's two, two um, poles that um, separate the whole unit. And then down the bottom here, you've actually got these poles which hold the, uh, the bottom of it. So they keep everything nice and taut and um, you know square looking, I should say. I'm trying to get me working my gimbal here. Uh, on the side of the unit, so if you go in here, I'll see if I can get a bit closer, under here, you've got these stainless steel um, arms, which obviously lock all this stuff into place, so um, they're nice and sturdy, all pop riveted in, all the rest of it, and these guys here are just your straps that hold the whole unit together. This is aluminium, and this is a um, nice big thick canvas, and all this stuff in here, if I can get a bit closer in there, if I get in there. All this is high quality steel, uh, all nicely welded, nothing looking pretty trash in there. There's no pigeon welding. And uh, this is all, all Loctite nuts and um, very, very look good looking gear. So uh, I'm super happy with that. That's not gonna come off there. This bracket on here is rigid as hell. So I don't see that coming off anytime soon. So as I said, pretty good quality from what I can see so far. I've actually mounted it with, you can go up here, um if you can see there uh it's like a roller mount so these are actually designed for the actual roller roof rack so with the roller roof rack you do get a whole bunch of accessories um that you can put with it and uh obviously i've gone um the awning mount uh mainly mainly because it's really really rigid and i know it's not going to go anywhere it's designed for the roof rack i don't have to drill any more holes you don't have to stuff around um, drilling holes and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty, uh, pretty particular when it comes, comes, you know, comes to mounting stuff on my roof. Mainly because I've had an awning almost snap off my roof before with a really, really old style roof rack, and uh, yeah, it just uh, wasn't the uh, the greatest of times. But um, yeah, super happy with how the uh, the whole thing sets up. As I said, if you can get some um, get some pegs. Under here, you won't have this problem with which I've got now, which is a little bit of wind and it's um, fucking all over the place. But uh, yeah, really, really stoked with how the uh, the whole thing goes together. You got these little straps here. You probably wonder what these are. These actually adjust and you can actually pull up because obviously I'm quite tall. I'm six foot one. So they pull up and go down depending on uh, what you want to do there. And uh, yeah, so if you're really, really short, you can, um, you know, if you don't want your legs hanging out the bottom, you, you're wanting tent, you can uh, have a bit lower. If you want to have a bit higher and you want your legs hanging down the bottom, but you want sort of your top half covered, um, you know, for women and that kind of stuff, then uh, you're going to raise it up. So, yeah, that is pretty much the uh, the kick-ass uh, roof awning. And you can probably see a few things on the uh, the car a little bit new, like those big things on the front there. There's going to be a couple more videos coming out, which will probably explain those little things a little bit more. But uh, with, with so far, I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked with this product. Obviously... In the next six to 12 months, I'll uh, give it a good test. It's coming into um, rainy season, so we're coming into winter. So I'm going to actually use this thing a fair bit. And uh, yeah, I'll give it a good run. I'm, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty keen to uh, get, into, um, get into using this thing. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, as I said, shout out to Kickass. No plug there, but um, well, as I said, I'm not affiliated, but shout out to these guys. They have made an awesome product and it's actually a good price. So uh, yeah, let's see how it goes with the test of time. And yeah, we'll see what we can um, we can do with this thing. But uh, that is another episode of Four by Four Camping and Adventures. I hope you like this episode. If you are in the market for an awning tent, have a look at these guys. I believe it's Kickass Four Wheel Drive or Bushproof Gear or something like that. If you just look up Kickass Four Wheel Drive in uh, Google, you'll um, find them pretty quick. And as always, like and subscribe, and please give me a uh, thumbs up if you um, like this content. And I shall see you in the next one. See ya.